Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you. I have lots of galaxy stuff in my room. I've painted paintings, I've painted my art book, and, and I've even done a pillowcase. And this time I really needed something to hold my incense. So I made a little bitty incense bottle holder um, out of a non-bottle. And now I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay, so I fixed my audio problem. I wasn't using the right um, recorder for my voice. So I got it fixed now. So in case you totally couldn't hear me earlier, I'm making an incense holder to put my incense in using an old palm bottle. I've already spray painted it black for the base. And I'm doing a galaxy theme, like I'm painting it like my paintings in the back. Um, to kind of resemble a galaxy. It's kind of hip and hipsterish. I've already got black on my fingers. That sucks. But I know that that's probably gonna... Yeah. So now, if you didn't use spray paint, you can use acrylic, but I recommend using spray paint as a base. It'll look a lot less... You can You don't see brush strokes. It's just pretty easy. So, the next colors I'm going to use are like a kind of dark blue. Uh, this one is Blue Water from Anita's All Purpose Acrylic Craft Paint. And this is Apple Barrel, but this is Velvet Crush. I got this at Walmart for maybe 97 cents, 75 cents. Don't remember. So, there's your paints. I'm using old lids from Nabisco Go Packs and Philadelphia Cream Cheese um, to put my paints in. And here's the the big the big thing. Okay, when I paint anything with a galaxy like that, I use a, a sponge, an old sponge that's specifically for painting because it gives it that spongy kind of texture like my notebook if you've never seen my notebook remind me to show you one day so sponge paints paint trays and of course you're gonna need your so, bottle so here's our bottle and first god it's really like wet paint it makes me nervous so there's our bottle and um, I'm going to take the blue first, make sure to mix it up. My cat is clawing my bed right now. So you're just going to put a generous amount of paint in there. Also, you might want to find a piece of paper, which is what I'm looking for right now. Take uh, one side of your, one side small of your, one small side of your sponge. And you're just going to take and kind of lightly cover one part of that. Now to get all this excess off, you're just going to want to dab it on your paper to kind of get rid of a lot of the excess. And then you're just going to kind of anywhere that feels right, just kind of dab on there.
What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil, it can be any kind of pencil really as long as you don't mind messing it up. I'm going to use one of these even though it's a drawing pencil but it's really old and I don't use it anymore. Now I'm going to take white acrylic paint, just regular white, shake it up really nice. And we're going to paint some stars on here because you can't have any kind of galaxy without some stars. So literally just like pick a spot and just start going to town as far as your little stars. Now in case you can kind of see up here, our little galaxy is kind of coming together on the top. But what would a galaxy be without a shooting star or a north star? So in order to kind of get that effect, I'm going to do a regular dot like I would a normal star with my pencil. But I'm going to kind of push it one way like a shooting star.